Hello guys, I want to share with you today the story of Joe. Joe, like most people today, was someone who decided to get his act straight a little late. He was already obese by the time he decided to take matters in his own hands and to lose the weight. But he was motivated. He decided to go on an aggressive cut. He dropped from eating over 2500 calories a day to a mere 1200. Over the next few months, he lost a significant amount of weight and he started to look much healthier as well. He still had a long way to go, but he, for, for the first time in as long as he could remember, started to feel good about himself. As difficult as it was for Joe to restrict himself to less than half the calories that he was used to eating, seeing the results made it all worth it. Some more time went by. He started to notice that despite the fact that he was continuing to eat 1200 calories a day, the rate at which the weight was coming off started to decrease, started to decline over time. And before he knew it, it stopped. He was eating 1200 calories a day and the weight stopped coming off. He tried cutting down further to a thousand, but he was already starving himself at 12. He was now low on energy all the time. He was constantly famished. He craved his favorite foods more than anything and he kept himself going for as long as he could. But finally, he broke. He convinced himself to be okay at his current level of fat and decided to end his diet. Poor Joe had really put in a lot of effort to lose all of that fat and he had finally started to feel good about himself. He knew that it would break his heart if he just went and gained back all of that weight. So he decided to be smart about it. He tried to be smart about it. He decided that instead of going back to eating 2,500 calories a day, he would instead eat 1,500 a day. That's a whole 1,000 calories lesser than he used to eat. So Joe still hadn't lost all of the weight that he wanted to lose. He, he was still fat. He started to eat 1,500 calories a day, a whole 1,000 calories lesser than what he was used to. So he was still starving himself. And worst of all, which took him another couple of weeks to realize, as soon as he started to eat 1,500 a day again, he started to put back the weight. So he was starving himself. He, he started to gain fat. He started to get fat or eating an amount that he was starving at. What happened with Joe, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I know because I was Joe. This video is for my fellow Joes out there. From my research as well as from my experience, I'll tell you, there still is hope for us. What most people don't realize about fat loss is that losing fat is not difficult. People are great at fat loss. Six out of every seven people who are overweight go on to lose a significant amount of weight in their lifetime. The problem is in keeping the weight off. Within three years of weight loss, not 50, not 70, not 90, 95% of people regain all of the weight that they lost. Thus, the success rate of diets is 5%. If you want to know more about why that is, why everybody fails so miserably despite trying so hard, how people can let themselves gain back all of the weight that they struggled, that they sacrificed so much to lose, Check out this video that I've linked on the top right of the screen. So if you are somebody who's been a little overweight, somebody who wanted to lose some of that paunch, some of that excess chubbiness around his face, there's over a 9 in 10 chance that you don't keep it off in the long term. 
If you know 10 people, including yourself, who lost weight over the past couple of years, nine of you will regain all of that weight. There's a 95% chance that you are going to fail. Maybe you've already failed. You, maybe you've already gained back all of that weight. Or maybe you find yourself in the position that Joe found himself in, where he was starving himself and yet the weight had stopped coming off. This video is for you. If you are a fat person who by some miracle has not crash dieted yet, check out this video to learn how you should go about your fat loss. Coming back to the 95% of you, you went on a diet, you crashed your metabolism and now you feel hopeless. Right? What now? Is there any hope for you? Do you have a shot at ever again leading a normal, regular life? Yes. But I'll warn you beforehand though, what I'm about to tell you is going to sound terrifying. You are, are you ready for it? Going to, mm -hmm, have to, okay, put on a little bit. Huh? What? Put on a little bit. Okay, put on a little weight. You're gonna have to put on a little weight. Okay, here's the thing. Over the past month to years of crash dieting, you've put your body in panic mode. You've made it go through the traumatic experience of a famine, of a drought. Again, your body doesn't know the difference between that and voluntary starvation, right? So now out of desperation, uh, out of by its survival instincts, your body responded by completely tanking your metabolism in order to survive. You fucked up your metabolism by crash dieting. The only way back is to reverse diet. Dieting fucked up your metabolism. Reverse dieting is what will restore it. What is reverse dieting? It's basically a process by which you systematically increase your metabolism. Why the reverse diet? Let's take the example of Joe again. Joe's maintenance calories had dropped to 1200 by the end of his diet, right? And he still had more weight to lose. So now he could either continue to lower his calories to 1000 to 800 and just Un indefinitely until he basically goes insane out of perpetual because of perpetual starvation or he could go on a reverse diet and attempt to and and you know and increase his maintenance calories to even to 2000 to 2200 to 2400 even so he could after a good amount of reverse dieting after about after a few months of reverse dieting reach the point where he's able to eat 2,000 calories a day and he's still losing weight because his maintenance has now increased to 2,400. That is the goal of something like this. Yes, that is possible. It's completely 100% scientific and also something that I myself have tried and tested over the past year. When I started this channel about a year ago, my maintenance was around... 1500 calories a day today my maintenance is 2200 calories a day and i haven't even been reverse dieting for the entirety of it i cut for a, for about a good two to three months in between well how do you do it step number one find out your actual maintenance calories not your on paper maintenance but your actual maintenance calories that is, the, that is the number of calories that you can eat every day and not gain or lose any fat. Check out the second link in the description to know, to know more about it. Step number two, gradually increase your caloric intake. Increase your calories by 100 to 200 every week or so. Increase by closer to 100 if your priority is to gain as little fat as possible. Increase it by closer to 200 if your priority is to increase your metabolism as quickly and as well as possible. And step number three, monitor your progress. If the amount of weight that you gain in any given week 
is more than 0.5% of your body weight. Don't increase the calories in the given week if it is lesser than that. Go ahead and increase by another 100 to 200 calories. So for example, if you are a 70 kg guy and you find yourself gaining more than 350 grams in any given week, don't increase the calories in the following week if the weight gain is lesser than that feel free to do so make sure you write these things down because just hearing them out won't really help you the way writing them out will once again i realize that it might sound scary to most of you to willingly put on weight but again the goal over here is to increase your metabolism not to lose weight it's short, it's it's because of purely short term thinking that you are in the position that you are in today think long term wouldn't it be amazing if you could eat much more than you're eating right now and still be losing weight that is the point of this that is what reverse dieting will help you achieve make your dreams a reality one day at a time boys i will see you in the next one